Hello, my name is Joe Partridge from JustScoof.com and today we're going to be looking at how to improve your cafetiere coffee. And the way to improve your cafetiere coffee is simply to get more of the flavour out of the ground coffee and into the hot water. Generally, when you make cafetiere coffee, you pour the hot water over the coffee grounds and you pour so that the coffee grounds mix reasonably well into the water. Uh, and then after waiting, you plunge. But actually, that's not a very good way of mixing the coffee uh, into the hot water. And really, there needs to be a better way to extract the flavour. You want to have a fully extracted coffee before you plunge. And how do you get a fully extracted flavour? Well, it's actually incredibly simple. What you do is stir. And to demonstrate how uh, stirring can agitate the coffee and stir it into the hot water the best, uh, what I've done is prepared a cafetiere jug with glitter. And that glitter is there because it's easy to see gl glitter in water, but it's very difficult to see coffee in water. So there we have the jug, and what we need to do is to make sure that all of that coffee glitter is fully mixed into the, the water. So we take our hot water and we pour. And what you'll notice is actually a lot of the glitter coffee stays on the surface and not very much is mixed into the body of the water, into the column of the water. All that flavour is sitting on the top. None of that flavour is being added into the, the hot water. So stirring is clearly the answer and coffee, just like glitter, floats. One way of doing it would be to take from the drawer a spoon and to mix it round. And it's a bit messy because the spoon is a bit short and I'm stirring it around and there's still quite a lot on top so you want to try and mix that in as well. And it's not an easy job. But I'm stirring and by the way the fish in Inardos, they say that it takes about 30 seconds of stirring to really fully mix in the coffee and to fully extract the flavour. And there we go, the spoon is gradually taking more of the coffee into the liquid. And the mixing is taking place right at the bottom, at the spoon end, because that's where the action is taking place and a bit less at the top because the handle is quite thin and doesn't really stir around very well. So that's the efficiency of a spoon. What I have here is something called a scoof and this is specially designed to stir coffee to get the max flavour out of your coffee drink. Can you see the double bladed end? And that blade works a bit like a propeller, maybe a reverse propeller. And that turns very efficiently and spins in the column of liquid. And that will mix it far better than a spoon can. And also by going up and down, you're agitating the column of water, drawing liquid to the top and pushing it down to the bottom. So a scoof is a more efficient way of making sure that the flavour is brought into your final drink. So if I depress, and you can see just a fairly light action, and you're getting a very vigorous stirring action. The whole column of liquid is being thoroughly mixed in. Water at the top is being pushed down to the bottom, and then as you draw up, the vacuum is created underneath, water fills the vacuum 
and water is also drawn up to the top. So you're stirring from the top to the bottom of the column. And it only takes two or three depressions of scoof and you've got a perfectly mixed column of coffee. And that's now mixing in nicely. Once you've fully mixed the coffee, then you wait for the, the coffee to brew, you put on the plunger, you depress, you pour out your coffee, you enjoy your coffee. And the great thing about scoof, and I've got another one here, is it can be used to clean the coffee afterwards. So it works to improve the flavour of your coffee and to make cleaning up the coffee left behind a cinch. There we have it.